If you want to impress guests with a dish that makes you look like a culinary artist, this is it, says All Recipes member Joanna about the stuffed leg of lamb with balsamic fig basil sauce. I could not believe how well all of the flavors work together, says Joanna, who recently made the lamb for Christmas dinner. It looked just beautiful when it was cut and served on a platter, so wonderfully festive. Let's begin by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Next, coarsely chop enough prunes to make half a cup. Place them in a small bowl. Add a quarter cup of currants and two tablespoons creme de cassis liqueur. Give the fruit a quick stir. If you don't have creme de cassis, which is a liqueur made from black currants, many All Recipes members suggest substituting Chambord, a raspberry-flavored liqueur. And if you can't find currants, use cranberries or raisins instead. Next, measure one and a half tablespoons of minced fresh rosemary into another small bowl. Add one and a half tablespoons of minced fresh thyme, half a teaspoon of ground coriander, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, and one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Stir the herbs and spices together and set the bowl aside. Several All Recipes members find this herb mixture so flavorful that they suggest doubling or even tripling it. Now, untie and unroll one four pound boneless leg of lamb and lay it flat on a work surface. Use a sharp knife to trim off any excess fat. and then cut any thick parts open so that the meat is evenly thick and somewhat rectangular in shape. Sprinkle half of the herb mixture over the lamb. Next, combine the prune mixture with a half cup of chopped roasted and salted almonds and two tablespoons of chopped fresh mint. Evenly spread the mixture over the lamb. Starting at one of the short sides, roll up the lamb. Tie it with kitchen twine at one inch intervals. Use a small, sharp knife to cut nine one-inch deep slits into the top of the lamb. Insert pieces of cut garlic into each slit. You'll need nine pieces of garlic, so it's easiest to use three cloves of garlic cut into thirds. Rub the lamb all over with two tablespoons of olive oil. And then sprinkle with the remaining herb mixture. Place the lamb seam side up on a rack set into a roasting pan. Roast the lamb in the preheated oven until it reaches your preferred doneness level. Being careful not to overcook as lamb can dry out. For medium rare meat, the roast should register 140 degrees on a thermometer inserted into the center of the roast. 
All Recipes member Just Joy removes the lamb at 135 degrees and covers it with foil until the temperature rises to 140. Once your desired level of doneness is reached, remove the lamb from the oven and cover it with foil. Allow it to rest for about 15 minutes before slicing. While the lamb is resting, pour half a cup of balsamic vinegar into a small saucepan over high heat. Boil the vinegar until it has reduced by half. This should take about four to five minutes. Add five tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of honey, and thinly slice a third of a cup of stemmed Calimerna figs. Fresh figs can be hard to find, so you can substitute with dried Calimerna figs. Stir the sauce until the butter has melted. Add five teaspoons of chopped fresh basil. And set the sauce aside. To serve the lamb, remove the twine and cut the lamb into half inch thick slices. Arrange the slices on a warm serving platter and drizzle it with the fig sauce. Stuffed leg of lamb with balsamic fig basil sauce is perfect for special occasions. Garnish the serving platter with fresh herbs.